Hi, this is Zach from Lazine. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the gauge in your floor pump. Sometimes you look down, that gauge isn't working correctly. So we replace it. This is an easy fix and you get to demolish the gauge that you have in there. To replace a gauge in our floor pumps, you'll want to call us and get a new gauge. We have our new gauge that goes up to 220 PSI. When we send you a new gauge, the gauge comes with all the thread lock and o-rings that you will need for the replacement. It also comes with printed instructions that help you along the way. And the only things that you will need are a flathead screwdriver and either vice grips or a plier. You will want to take your flathead screwdriver and pry up this black ring. It takes a little bit of work. Remove the ring and the lens. From here, you will reach inside with your flathead screwdriver and you pry the face plate up. And that will give you access down into the gauge. Once you have that done, you can grab your pliers and there is a little brass piece down inside that you will want to go ahead and grab with your pliers and then unscrew the gauge to remove it out of the base. Once the gauge is removed, you will be able to see down inside the threads and there's an o-ring inside. You will want to remove that o-ring and install the new o-ring that we supply, which fits right in there. Once you have your thread lock on the threads of your new gauge, you can drop it in and start to tighten it into place. Once you have the gauge spun into place, you want to back it off just a little bit so that it's straight with the barrel and it's easy to read. Now that you have your new gauge in the base of your pump, the gauge will read accurately and you have correct tire pressure every time you ride.